We've been looking at Alzheimer's from a medical point of view from the top down for over 100 years. So we look at it from the level of a person uh, and we try to understand why Alzheimer's disease is happening. That approach has had some success, but we don't really understand the problem and we really have to build from the bottom up. We have to understand what's happening at the molecular level, at the level of single proteins in the brain. Usually when we image proteins, they are made in the lab. The breakthrough that I had was to be able to do this directly from human brain tissue using some of the tools from another field, not neuroscience, but actually biophysics. We use electrons to directly visualize molecules and that allows us to push what we can actually see in the, in the sample. By taking snapshots at different angles, you can actually start to build up a three-dimensional structure of the protein. We're really just looking at these protein molecules as they would be in the, the brain of an Alzheimer's patient. And I think that's the real power of the technology. There's a huge opportunity here that's really just um, starting to evolve. We can now take any target of interest that we find and somehow pull it out from human brain tissue and then directly visualize it uh, using this, these microscopes, of which we have four microscopes here at Columbia. So far, we've just done uh, one target in Alzheimer's disease, but working with others here at Columbia, we will visualize now many of these other targets that are implicated in the disease uh, and use those structures to actually either design better drugs or better biomarkers to track disease progression and try to pick up uh, on the disease even before we see the first symptoms in patients. Where we're at right now with Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative diseases is a bit like where cancer research was in the 80s. It's really on the cusp. The disease is complicated, but because we're throwing so many different ideas and approaches to it, we will, we will have breakthroughs in the not too distant future.